I think what is very, very special about Italy and the artistic works that have been done here over the past 2,000 years is um, you can see through the history of man and his relationship with God. You go in, in and out of different areas in history and it's very much expressed in the art. When you get into the, the Renaissance and geniuses like Michelangelo, you can see them struggling with their relationship with men and their relationship with God. Michelangelo was really considered himself a poet more than an artist. And he was always struggling with trying to express to God his talent and everything that he had inside of him. And when you see him um, um, canvassing and frescoing the, these buildings and trying to reach God with what he knew he had inside as an artist. Many of the famous artists from the Italian Renaissance have been quoted as stating art was an expression of their worship toward God. Several of the Renaissance artists, including Michelangelo, featured biblical scenes in their work. Michelangelo's most famous works included the Statue of David, the Pietà, and the monumental painting of the ceiling in the Sistine Chapel. All reflected God and His creation. The Pietà, which historians believe was completed before Michelangelo was 24 years old, displays Mary, the mother of Jesus, cradling her son, the crucified Christ, in her lap. The Sistine Chapel was completed under heavy pressure from the Pope as a commissioned work. Prior to this commission to paint the ceiling, Michelangelo regarded himself primarily as a sculptor. He would now take on the greatest challenge of his life. Creating images that have remained breathtaking throughout history, his paintings would tell the story of Genesis, Adam and Eve, and Noah. He would later be asked to depict the Last Judgment as part of the completed work. The Pope's persistent demands were perhaps not the main reason why he accepted the burden. First of all, he considered it as a duty and mission entrusted to him by God. He had served popes all his life, and he wished to dedicate his last years to serving God. Thus he wrote to his nephew Leonardo, Many believe, and I believe, that I have been designated for this work by God. In spite of my old age, I do not want to give it up. I work out of love for God, and I put all my hope in Him. The artist of this period, like Michelangelo, displayed the love of God and desire to show the gift of God through their work, bringing to life the inner soul and the passion that burned within. It was the interpretation of scholars that many of the human figures seemed as though they appeared to break free from the stone that imprisoned them. It was their work, their calling, to bring to life the Spirit of God through paintings, sculptures, architecture, and poems. It was Michelangelo who passionately wrote, Painting and sculpture shall no longer calm the soul turned to that love divine, but spread its arms on the cross to take us in, possibly referring to his work, the wood crucifix. During the Baroque period, Bernini's design of the Sant'Angelo Bridge in Rome focused its theme around the power of prayer. Two angelic figures created for the bridge were found by Pope Clement IX to be so beautiful that he would not allow the originals to be exposed to the natural elements and ordered that they be replaced with duplicates. Bernini stated that he attended to his work with great care, but that there must be something else suggesting that it was the grace of God to which he attributed everything. These artists must have perceived the absolute and infinite in their art would impress the soul of whomever saw it to look toward God. Present day believers are also searching for ways to point people toward God and find unity in worship. We feel like the way we've kind of felt we've been living this weekend is we feel like there's a big boulder there and we found a little hole with a little crack we wanted to put a chisel in there and start, you know, hitting it and be catapulted into a different level, into unity, to praise the Lord. That's what we've been desiring for many, many years. I believe that this meeting that we're doing here this weekend, this conference, this recording, uh, is going to be a catalyst to propel the body of Christ here in Italy into a higher level in their worship experience, a higher level in their religious relationships as well. And I think that's going to be uh, I think there's a possibility, I'm believing, let me put it like this, I'm believing 
that this series of meetings are going to be a catalyst uh, for a healing in relationships, of course, between Protestants and Catholics throughout the world, or at least bring us to a point where we can worship God together because we serve the same God. We, serve, we lift up the same Jesus Christ. And, and I believe that God is more concerned with us having unity in heart and spirit and placing uh, uh, spiritual things over doctrinal things. And, uh, and I believe that the worship is the key. Worship is the way to bring all of the body of Christ together.